Hello guys, today I want to show you how to install Cisco MediaSense. Uh, before to get a start, you have to go to which version do you want to uh, install. I want to install uh, version 11.5. It's here. Uh, this is uh, depend on your uh, requirement and how many telephone you want to record it. Uh, you can configure your ESX. The, here I want to uh, install this uh, element uh, to CPU uh, 8 GB RAM and the one important matter is the virtual disk. Let's go to see virtual disk. The media sense need to at least three disk. One of them at least 8 gigabyte uh, for OS, uh, second uh, disk is 8 gigabyte for uh, database and working storage, and second is 210 gigabytes. Uh, and then we are going to uh, our ESX. Uh, my ESX is uh, version is uh, 6, and last before I copy. I copy uh, ISO file inside the um, inside the um, data store. Uh, but uh, ISO file need to be bootable. Be careful. You have to make a ISO file bootable uh, bootable for run it. Okay. I uh, last before I copy here and I create a new virtual machine typical name media sense next I want to run it in, uh, in this data store Linux operation systems and OS. My network is here. Okay. Uh, I said last before one of the uh, three Ds, one of them is 80, 80 gigabytes, second is 80 gigabyte, and second is 210 gigabyte. Okay. We have to add three disks here. Simple Virginia 210 next add another one okay I forgot to configure the RAM at CPU the RAM must be at least 8 gigabyte and the CPU have to 1 and 2 total number of course must 2 at least and add uh, 210 add another one here 80 gigabyte team provisioning finished add another one next 80 gigabyte team provisioning next Next, finish. Okay, we have to add the ISO file in the CD and DVD. Uh, data store, we have to check on the connect power on. Be careful. And data store, ISO file, I put the ISO file in the folder of ISO and uh, yes, media sense. MCP. Okay, finished, and we show turn it on the machine and watch what's gonna be happen. Mm -hmm. A new console to watch what happened. Can't see. Okay, it booted. 
Uh, we enter OK. OK. We're just waiting. Be patient. Uh, this console is much more better. Just a moment until uh, wizard is complete. Detecting server hardware. This time, this can take uh, several minutes. That's it. It's a very easy. This is my first node of MediaSense. One interesting matter in this case, the MediaSense can uh, have a, a load balancing and fault tolerance. It means you can add the uh, one or two and three. I guess I'm not sure, but I think four uh, machine of MediaSense for fault tolerance. If the one of them has been uh, down another one can activate it as I said okay we enter OK yes okay look at that the version on this DVD is 11.5.1.12001-8 uh, yes continue proceed continue okay the time zone okay I agree with it continue uh, MTU is the default is uh, 1050 and I don't want to change it no okay the <coughs> name of it media sense and the address is and the subnet mask and default gateway okay uh, this uh, this address and the name can uh, reverse, uh, can uh, forward and lookups in the DNS. And uh, ask me, do you want to enable domain name uh, system DNS client on this machine? No, I don't want it because it needs some um, configuration. And this this lab is just for educational, and uh, this is not enterprise or doing for something else okay I said no but if you want to install it you have to yes but it doesn't matter you can uh, configure when it um, in a star I said select the no okay administrator ID is admin I put the password Okay. Uh, the certification information it doesn't matter. Or oh, you, this is just for education. Doesn't matter. Okay. Uh, yes. Uh, is this the uh, is this server the first node in the cluster? Yes, we have. This is the first uh, node. And if you <coughs> had. Uh, uh, first node or publisher media sense you have to select a node but uh, this is a first node I uh, select a yes because I uh, there is no media sense here look at that it's uh, media sense this media sense uh, going to be a uh, publisher and uh, if you want to an uh, install another one it's going to be subscriber same as here CUCM publisher CUCM uh, subscriber I said yes NTP server my NTP server is IP is and okay the security 
configuration. Uh, don't forget to remind uh, this section is referred to back to CUCM security configuration. Uh, whatever you put or uh, written the uh, password in your CUCM, you have to put the same as the uh, word password here. Uh, and it, this is, uh, they are dependency to each other. Uh, media sense and CUCM to each other. I write the security configuration, security password that I uh, ha uh, I uh, put in the CUCM. My password is This is my password of CUCM, security password. Don't forget, the application and security are uh, different. Select OK. OK, this is uh, username and password application. The application and security is the uh, two different uh, password. Be careful. Okay. Reinitialized all. We select the reinitialized all. We're just waiting. Create a ex ext. Create an ext four file system on the dev. Just waiting. Okay, it's going to be in installation. The installation is around uh, 30 minutes or more, and uh, for short. Uh,